A section of Broadway in downtown Idaho Falls is under major construction, but the businesses along there remain open. Eyewitness News 3's Evan Thomason takes us to the Museum of Idaho right across from all of the detours. Two major intersections in Idaho Falls are now under major road construction. While it may be a headache for us to try to deal with, it's becoming more of a challenge for businesses like the Museum of Idaho. Some that work there were surprised the first day. We were just having some folks having trouble finding how to get across the museum, which is not necessarily that uncommon because sometimes we have trains to deal with that are coming through. Um, but then I stepped outside and realized, oh, it's not a train, it's construction today. While it may be more of a pain for their patrons to have to find a detour, it is crucial for the museum to have visitors. We are still open, and not only are we open, but we really rely on, on attendance here at the museum. We're a nonprofit, and we need uh, that ticket money to keep going. They need the money especially since this is peak summer travel season, where the museum gets the majority of its funds. We are bracing for the possibility that it gets worse over the next little while. Uh, but uh, this is our tourist season and uh, GPS's I think are still helping our tourists out, helping them find us still. And uh, that's really, really important for us. So, so far so good, but we are a little concerned. The Museum of Idaho held a staff meeting to discuss solutions earlier this week. Their best solution was to work on providing directions. That'll get you right to the museum, just coming from slightly a few blocks away. And so uh, we're going to put out a, um, some maps about how to get here and make sure that that is inf information that's available to people when they're looking up the museum's website and figuring out how to plan their visit. Now, when we talk to other businesses, they're trying to remain cautiously optimistic. They haven't seen any change in business over the past few days, and they're trying to remain hopeful for the future, yet it's only the first few days of a two-month project. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Evan Thomason.